Hola amigos, hello everybody, welcome to the Rosana Mod Pod. This is Rosana Molunio, your vessel and host, wearing my I look smart glasses, because when you wear glasses, you look more intelligent. So no matter what I say, you're going to listen and say, wow, she's smart. No, I'm just saying. It's a visual thing, but anyway. <laughs> so today is Tuesday, and I know that I already put something out for Wednesday, which is about the, can you identify the songs for my Black Forest Elephant? music box please somebody there's got to be somebody out there who knows what those songs are there's a label underneath it it's a 1940s uh music box is black forest i've already had it appraised um <coughs> the label on the bottom though is so hard to read and they were going to charge me to clean it so that they could read it but it's it's so very fragile that i don't want to mess with it so i just figured I'm going to put it out there and somebody's going to know what these songs are. I know one of them is a waltz, but I just can't identify it. And I did try to hum it on Google search and it didn't know what the hell I was doing. So anyway, um, that was for Wednesday, but then I realized this is going to be a bonus for Wednesday because that's not, it's all right, but it wasn't really me talking or, or teaching you anything. Like I really want to, because I have this idea I know you like my ideas, I think, right? All right, so first of all, um, we're going to talk about socks. What can we do with socks? I'm very frugal. I like to save money, but it's not just because of that. I am just a person who can't stand paying for something that I can make myself, okay? So if I can make it and if I see it, I know because I'm a creative and because I am an artist, it, naturally, I'll look at something and I'll s already identify what it is that I can uh, do with that you know it doesn't that's why I said think outside the box just because it says it's for socks socks are for feet doesn't mean it has to be for your feet only you can use whatever you want a sock is a piece of fabric that just happens to fit on your feet but it doesn't necessarily have to be for your feet do you see what I mean here let me move this closer just a little bit my air conditioner's on so if you hear background noise I'm sorry it's just too damn hot I'm not going to be without the air and uh, this right here is a sock. Yes, it's my foot. It's not that small. But if you look at it, I mean, what can you do with the sock? If you look at the sock itself, what can you do with it? You can keep something warm with it. <laughs> you can keep something warm with it because look at the way this is shaped. Look at the heel. I'm just saying, if it gets cold out, you know, they got Alaska men out there or somebody out there, out there in... Um, Oh my God, where am I going with this? <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. But it's true. It's true. Okay, the heel and the... All right, well, anyway. So, um, wow. <clears throat> anyway, so what I did was, I did it by accident is what happened. I bought these socks, not these particular ones, but I had gotten these socks one time where the top part was really, really tight around my ankle. I couldn't stand it. So I cut it off. And I kept this part. Okay, I already cut it, so it doesn't matter. And it came, you know, so I cut this part off. And when I cut this part off, I didn't want to throw it away because immediately I knew it's elastic. And elastic you can always use for something. You can always use it. So I wear it as a hairband. And I have a whole Ziploc bag full of these things. And some of them I cut neatly, some of them I don't cut neatly. If you have a white one and you don't cut it neatly, the little pieces are going to come off. They're going to be in your hair and people are going to think you have a dandruff problem. So you want to make sure you're careful or you want to burn with a lighter or something the edges so it doesn't fray. And that's a good idea. But if you have like a darker color, you know, then it's okay. So here is this thing. The best thing about this for hair is that the elastic is so it's so soft it's not you can wear it and it won't leave that line you know that ponytail line on your hair so you see it's like it's it's super soft you see what i mean it doesn't look bad but this is white if it, if it was a different color obviously and you can also if you want you can um you know get creative with it you can get creative why not i mean these are plenty of room here you know how I love my glue gun you can put little stones on it you know cut it neater I mean obviously I didn't cut it neat I just wanted to show you know how it's done but if you cut it closer to the end you don't have to get that part right there it'll be really neat and then that's it so that's it for one I mean I wear them 
I wear different colors on my wrists. I dab like black and brown and gray or whatever, and I have different colors that I wear on my wrist because I just like how it looks. Or sometimes I'll do this to it, and I'll just do, you know, like that, so that they don't look like socks. Do you see what I mean? So then I'll just pack them in there. I know it sounds weird, but just listen, hear me out. So then when you're looking at it, you think to yourself, well, what else is this good for? This is where you, where your brain has to really function. This part's smooth. The inside part, if you turn it inside out, is got a more abrasive side. So if you put your hand in it, the abrasive side's here and the softer part's here. So what is it good for? Obviously, what is it good for? Come on. Anybody? Hello? Come on. Yes, you can wash your face with it. I, I have one of these that I use for my face. I take my makeup off. I wash it. I have another one in my shower where I use it for my shower. E -e -e -e, right? <laughs> it doesn't make that noise, but whatever. And then, like I have to say that. And, um, <laughs> so stupid. And then also like a, when you're trying to get something out of the oven. So I have a pair. Yes, I do. I have a pair in my drawer in the kitchen because sometimes I don't want to use the giant you know, that big old mitt, oven mitt. Oven mitt? It's an oven mitt. Oh, that was from the jerk. Okay, I'm crazy. So you open, you know, whatever. It's also really good for opening bottles, like water bottles. It's good, okay? And if it doesn't open like this because it slips, wet it a little bit, dampen it a little bit, and then open it. I'm telling you, if you have arthritis, if you have, you know, you you can't open things like I sometimes my hands hurt a little bit I'll admit it and it's easier to to open so there's so many things you can do you could you can you know put your finger in here look I, I know it's silly but just listen put your finger in there clean your ears clean your dog's ears clean your baby's ears you know clean, clean your teeth um, not after you clean your ears obviously but you know and um, wipe down your computer wipe down your desk wipe down your car keep one in your car just in case you know you can also cut it in half like this and just keep this part so you'll have this piece here what is that good for come on ladies in an emergency situation okay i'm talking about in an emergency like if you if you're living outside or 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 whatever you're living in your car or whatever in emergencies which in, this is a pad this is a pad it's also good for when you're injured so you might want to keep one of these in your car just in case or a couple of these in your car it's not going to hurt to keep one in your car two in your car in case you get injured and you could wear it you know over here like that you know it, it's like a tourniquet right it stops the bleed whatever i mean you have to do that now because in every episode that I have, and not every one, but some of the episodes that I have, I always talk about how you have to think outside the box. You have to. Don't just read things and believe in the title where it says, you know, uh, and this is a perfect example. I have it here, but I use this. But baking soda. I'm going to give you a bonus on this, okay? I'm going to give you a bonus. Baking soda is not just for baking. Just because it has a picture of a cookies on it doesn't mean that's all it's good for. This is baking soda. You can mix this with toothpaste or mix it with peroxide, make a paste, and clean your teeth. They come out super white, okay? You don't want to, you know, go crazy. You can't use this on your dogs. Do not wash your dog's teeth with this. Yet. No. Okay, don't. Don't do it. But... This is a good cleaning product. It gets things white, especially if you mix it with peroxide, okay? Another thing that I do, hear me, if you have heartburn. Do you have heartburn? Ask your doctor first if you can do it. Please ask your doctor first, okay? But for me, this is what I do. Sometimes I have heartburn, instant heartburn if I eat something that's super greasy, so I know that it bothers my stomach, and this is what I do. I'm not kidding. It is instant relief. So what I do is I have a bottle of water, of plastic water bottle, and I take about a half a teaspoon of this. I put it into the water and I mix it and I drink it 
any time that I have heartburn. Sometimes one teaspoon, a whole teaspoon for a bottle. And I'll just keep it in the fridge, keep it by my bed in case I ever have it. I rarely get it, but when I do, if something doesn't agree with me, I'll drink a little bit. It's instant. It's so fast, you're going to not believe it. Yes. And so now I just dip my finger in there and I lick it off and that's just for me. It just works better that way. So that's it. It's a 10 minute video on you got your bonus baking soda thing. You got your what you do with socks, how you get your hair things. There's so many things. I'm going to start doing this like, uh, you know, as much as I can for you to try and get you to think outside the box and try to look at labels that don't uh that don't necessarily have to be for for what the you know for what they're made for initially or what they're marketed for really that's what it is because this is just for me it's just a piece of towel it's a, they they call it a sock but it for me in my mind it's just a piece of fabric that's a towel that that's perfect that fits around my hand and my foot or you know, my fit somebody else, other things. I'm just saying. Why well, I'm going there, I don't know. Well, from Belle Biv DeVoe <laughs> and me, because I didn't put my eyebrows on this morning, this is what I look like. I'm like the uglier version of Tim ba Kim Basinger. Um, so, because she doesn't have any eyebrows either. So, um, they're just very light, right? Okay, so uh, from me and Belle Biv DeVoe and. <laughs> Stop. Um, from my house to yours and Coco's asleep. Um, I hope that that helped you. Please comment and share if this helped and let me know if you have any ideas or what else do you do with your socks? What else do you use it for? Do you use it for anything else? Do you? I want to know. I'm curious because that's, you know, from what I can think of, I'm sure there's other things you can do with it. That's all. Well, I had a son, so I know there's other, oh my God, Ma, why did you go there? Okay, well, I got to go. Anyway, talk to you soon. <laughs> talk to you soon um uh i love you coco loves you we all love you thank you for uh subscribing really thank you i've got 75 as of this morning which is really great because i keep thinking two months ago i had 19 and now i have 75 which to me is a big deal i love that i can't see all of you so i don't know who's out there i can only see 10 of you now so the rest of them are mysterious maybe i know you and you just too too chicken to call me <laughs> or contact me, whatever the reason. Um, I still love you and talk to you soon. God bless you. And what do we say? We say ciao. Yeah. <laughs>